Can you see it now? Yeah, now it's okay and it also started. Thank you. Okay, all right, good, thank you. Okay, so again, this is Vraspati um, Vasara, Guru Vasara, Dinanka Shashtaha, 6th of October. Raghuvam Shakavyam, Dvadasha Sargaha, Trimsha Shlokaha, 30th Shloka of the uh, 12th chapter. Mangracharanam, Ramu Rajamanis Sadavijayate, Ramam Ramesham Bhaje, Rame Nabhyata Nishacharachamu, Rama Yatasmai Namaha, Rama Nasti Parayanam Parataram, Rama Siddhaso Smiyaham, Rame Chittare Sadabhotume, Bhurama Mamudhara, Rama Rame Ti Rame Ti Rame Rame Mano Rame, Sahasanam Tatilyam Rama Namu Varadane, Shri Rama Namu Varadana Ondama Iti, Atha Shri Mahashwar Sutrani, O Yul Rilrak, E Ong, Ay Auch, Hayavarat, Lan Yamanga Nanam Jabain, Gardadash, Jabba Gardadash, Kapa Chacha Tsa Chacha Tsa Ukapai, Sha Sha Sar Hal, Iti Mahashwar Sutrani. Last time looking at the shloka from Vyakaranam, we did the uh, Anuvadaha, the translation. So this is Trimshaha, 30th shloka. Tau minishpishya kakutsthau, pura dushayati sthalim, gandhena shuchina cheti, vasudhayam nichaknatuhu, nichaknatuhu. Tau minishpishya kakutsthau, pura dushayati sthalim, dushayati sthalim. Gandhena Shuchina Cheti Vasudhayam Nichaknatu Ho. We did the Padachyada last time. Tam, Tam means the Purvoktam, Rakshasam. This is Viradham, Viradham Rakshasam, Viradakshyam Rakshasam. Vinishpishya, Kakutsthav, Purayati Avyayam, Purayasan Avyayam, Dushayati, that is the Tingantampadam, Sthalim, Dvitiya, Dvitiya ye kvashanam, Nadivat, Gandhena, Ashuchina, Cha iti, Adguna, Cha iti, Vasudhayam, Saptam ye kvashanam, Ramavat Shabda, Nichaknatuhu, Sasatigantam Padam. We have a quotation here, there is an iti. Iti is ending the quotation here. And what's in the quotation is, Pura Dushyati Sthalim, Gandhena, Ashuchina. So that is what iti matva, iti alochya, having thinking thus, uh, analyzing thus, feeling thus, they dug him into the ground. So the simple sentence here is that tam vasudhayam nichaknatuhu, kakutsthav tam vasudhayam, tam rakshasam vasudhayam nichaknatuhu. The two uh, descendants of, of kakutsthaha. Descendants of Kakustha means Rama Lakshmana uh, buried the Rakshasa in the ground. That is the simple sentence. Then there is a Yabvantam Padam here. So uh, let's quickly go to some uh, our document. And <coughs> it's verse number 30, right? Okay, let me just put some notes over here so we can save time in the class. Okay, Vinish Pishya. Vinish Pishya. Um, Okay, Pishlru Sanchurane, Sanchu means to pound or to crush, Pishlru Sanchurane means to make it into paste, like the English word paste, Pishtam, Pishtam is paste in English. So Vinish Pishya, of course you add the Tva Pratyaha, by Samal Krittakiyoho Purva Kale, we see in the daily example, we see this many, many times in the daily example, we've seen this, so Samal Krittakiyoho Purva Kale, and then, so that must have been Pishtva, and then after that, because um, this dhatu I think is a um, anid dhatu. Uh, give me one second. Let me just double check that. I think this dhatu is is anid dhatu. It anudapto padeshaha, shante shu. Krusha, Tvisha, Tusha, Dvisha, Dusha, Pusha, Pisha. Yeah, it's an it's so Pishtva. But then what happens is we make a samasaha by Kugati um, Pradeha, make a Gati Samasaha. When that happens, the Tva becomes Lyap, Samasinyang Purvek, Tvo Lyap, Lyap Adeshaha. Of course, we've seen this Sutram Kugati Pradeha in the Wednesday class in great detail. 
So and then finally we get the um, this eight three forty one gets the this murdhanya shakara de shaha for for the uh, nis or nir when you have done that nis or nir what happens is first of all if you take nis sasaju shoroho and podesha janana sika it and after that karavasanu visarjani yaha and normally we should have had the sutram kupoha kaf paucha kupoha kaf paucha so that would have been uh, i think 8337 is it yeah it is kupoha kaf paucha instead comes a special rule vidu dupadasya cha pratyasya pyav visarga upadha is a ikara or ukara vidid ud upadasya should be apratyasya visarga should not come from pratyaya so when you say like hari hi karoti it will not become harish karoti when you say guru ho pashyati it will not become gurush pashyati so in those cases the the, the visarga came from the pratyasu prathama ekavachanam so in this case we have the avyam nir or nis and then so this is not a pratyajanya um visarga so it is the pratyasya cha pratyasya says that instead of getting the usual Visarga or the Vikalpena Jivva Muli Atva Upadmani We get the Mudhanya Shakara Adhe Shahava 8.3.40 was a very important sutram We get let's look at the Vyakya Namada 8.3.41 So that's I'm talking about this This Shakara over here Nish This Nis So Nih became Nish That's what we are talking about So if you look at the Vyakya Namada of 8.3.41 8.3.41 But they have The Vyakya Namada is given which words in the language which terms can can satisfy this condition it says ikaropad ikaropadasya ukaropadasya cha apratyasya visarjaniyasya shakara adesha bhavati kupoho parataha it says nir dur bahir avis chatur pradas so nir dur bahir avis chatur pradas only this these six terms can generate this condition where you have a visarga with the upadha the penultimate letter is ikara or ukaraha and it is not a pratyajanya visarga it not come from pratyaya um so it gives for example nishpitam and so given examples here so for for these six uh, when you have the uh, visarga coming there the visarga only came because of karava sani or visarjaniya so basically you should have a kar letter following that's understood so if you have pa pa k k following and we have one of these six uh, then what happens is that it it uh, mixes in mudhanya shakara desha so that's that's that explain the form vinish pishya which means that completely crushed i mean completely having completely pounded now the samana samana kartaro um is kakustha ram lakshmana so they always have to when you see the lyapantam padam or the twantam padam twantam padam always identify who is the common doer or who are the common doers and what is the later action so vinish pishya Means the common doers are kakustav, and then the uttaravartini kriya is nichakhnatu. So it's a very, it's a very good way to structure the whole sentence. So having crushed him, they dug him into the ground. Okay. One more thing. I think we finish the last class. We're talking about the vyakranam for this um, uh, kakustaha, kakustaha, and there there is this kakustasya patyam kakustaha. Kakustha plus nyas in the adhikar of tasya patyam. The adhikar of tasya patyam we have seen that the it starts from I think four one ninety two starts tasya patyam. Tasya patyam starts four one ninety two. And from prior to that is coming the pragdivyato an. Pragdivyato an. An is a d for patyam. Up to the word divyat. Divyat comes in four four two. So from four one eighty three up to four four two. Is the D for pratya divya? I mean, an pratya, prak divya to an. And within that, we had the first adhikara which Pani ni takes in the tadhita prakaranam. The the prathama adhikara, prathamo adhikara is tasya patyam, and that starts from 4192 tasya patyam. That goes to apada samapte he, at the end of 4.1. So now we could have used that D for pratya an itself. But then what happened is that the sutram atai came and intervened. If you have an adantam pratyadikam, pratyai has to be used. The ikaraha. Then we say ravani indrajit dasharathi ramaha and so on. Saumadatti bhagavad gita. 
some of the tistata yivacha. So we had a problem here. Then what we do is that we get over that problem. We use this sutram, which is Shivadibhyo Anna. Shivadibhyo Anna. That's for sutram. Now we were talking last time about why why Malinata has said in the commentary. He says the uh, the commentary is kakutsthasya gotra patye pumamsa gotra patye. As we have a discussion when we when we end, finished up the last class gotra patye. Now I don't know why exactly, but I think as Vasu said. You have to just take it that the pratya is not gotre. Normally in Vyakranam when you say that, means the pratya is used specifically gotre. Gotra means that he is from the grandson onwards. That is true in this case, but that, that pratya will be specifically um, described by Panini, which can only be used gotre. And those are running, those are running from, um, they are running from, let me see, they are they're prior to that, they are going from pragdi uh, vyato so prior to that, Gotre is coming from, let me see, in the Ashtadhyayi, Gotre goes from 98 to 111. So 4198 to 411 is running Gotre in the Ashtadhyayi, from 4198 to 4111, from here, Gotre, Kunjadibhya Shpain, so from here, um, from here Gotre goes up to up to here, Bhargat Trai Garte from here. Shivadi Bhyo An is outside that. Doesn't because I think if you here also we I think we saw last time the commentary, which was the Shivadi Bhyo An commentary was saying uh four one 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 two four one 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 two. Shivadi Bhyo An says Gotri in the Vruttam. Gotri doesn't carry into the sutra. Anyway, so atapravruti samanyena pratyaha vijnayante. So these are not in Gotri, this is just in Tasyapatyam. So Shivadi Bhyuan has been used and in the Shivadi Ganha actually Kakustha Shabdha Sakshat Pratitha which has actually been um, mentioned in this Ganaha. Because many of these Ganaha are Akriti Ganaha as, as we know. So I think somewhere here Kakustha or here Kakustha is in this Ganaha. Kakustha. So we cannot even say that it is, you know, something is different. Anyway, so so this is this in the commentary. What we have this gotra pratyaya. I think we should take it that pratyaya is not gotre, but these two were, you know, in the sense of gotra pratyaya because they were not direct. They were not his sons. They were lower down in the line, you know. So that's what gotra pratyaya. Vasu said, but Vasu said that it's not a pratyaya is not gotre, but they are not his direct sons. So that's why I think he has mentioned this in the commentary. So that's why we stopped last time. Kakutsta plus nyas tasya patyam so shashti ekvachanam patyan by shivad. This is important sutam shivad ibhyo an. If you see an an pratyaha, which would have been blocked by atayim, but is being used back again, then shivad ibhyo an is one good place to go. Shivad ibhyo an. It's a famous gana shivad ibhyo an. Then of course, you do anubandha lopaha, vashakvata dite halantyam and um, uh, no, sorry. This one takes first with this samudaya gash this tadhita the pradhibhutika sanya krutta dhita samasascha 1, 2, 4, 6 supo dhatu pradhibhutika yoho the nyas goes away. This entire thing is takes look, sup, look. This one takes anubandha lopaha and by halantyam. And then we get the adivriddhi tadhita eshvacha madehe pratya is following tadhita sanya and it has it is either a chavarga pancham as an it or tavarga pancham as an it then the the first vowel in the angam takes vriddhi. So, tadhiteshva cha madehe. So, become kakustha. Kakustha, that's what we So, kakustha, of course, is prathamadvivachanam. Now, um, then, dushayati. Uh, now, we are going to see one strange thing over here. This, 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 the, 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 the strange thing in the shlokaha is this pura dushayati. Look at the commentary. Pura dushayati. Dushayishyati iti heto ho. Dusha Yishyati. Now how do you get that meaning Dusha Yishyati? Because you know Dusha Yati is clearly is a lat lakaraha, but the Vyakshanam says Dusha Yishyati. So that is the strange thing in the shloka. Now, always you know in this Kavyam like look like you know Rakum Shakavyam says there's always something little bit little bit funny. This this is a Vyakaranam lesson, right? This Kalida says also teaching us Vyakaranam. So how did this Dusha Yati become Dusha Yishyati? Uh, let's form the form dushayati first and see what is happening there. This dhatu is dush, it's a rasu karaha. Dhatu parte rasu karaha. Dusha vaikritye. 
Vikruti means that to deform, to spoil, basically to spoil. So Vikruti means to spoil something. So Dush plus Nich, Hetumuti Nich, means he will cause it to be deep, cause it to be spoiled, to spoil something. Dusha plus Nich, first we get Anubandha Lopaha by Chutu Halantyam, Ikara Vashishyati Anubandha Lope, then we get, so that is Chutu Halantyam, and then we get Uganta Laghupatasya Cha Gunadesha. Gunadesha, become Doshi. At this point comes a special sutra, 6490. Now these sutras are hard to remember because specific sutra, Vishesh sutra. So only for this dhatu, so only for this dhatu, this, this special sutra, which is 6490. 6490, 6490, the special sutra for just this dhatu, just this dhatu, and 6490, let's see what it says. It says, Dosho uh, now. Anuvritti of Ud is coming there, Ud Upadhayaha. So the Upadha becomes the, um, the Okaraha of Dosh becomes a Ukaraha when the Ni follows. So Dosh or now is a very specific sutra. For this Dhatu, Dush, when it takes the Gunadesha, becomes Dosh. And then when you, uh, this, ok, this Okaraha becomes the Ukaraha, the Upadha. Upadha ukara upada bhutaha ukara become i mean the okara becomes ukara so okara se sthane ukara desha so becomes dushi dushi so dosho now dosho now dosho now in the upani sutram repeated as many times as you can so this is a special rule a special rule so i think kalidasa wants to teach us two rules over here one is dosho now dosho now dosha upadhaya ukara adesha bhavati now parataha very simple rule, but like dusya dushayati in kashika, dushayati. So that's how we get this special form dushayati. In the, in the dhatu partha, there's a ukaraha, but when we add a nishpratyaha, get the gunadesha, pugandalagu patasicha, and then that, that okara takes the ukara adesha by dosho now. Doshaha upadhayaha ukara adesha bhavati now parataha. So it becomes dushi. And then it gets the dhatu sanya sanadhyanta dhatavaha, because this is in that section of sanadhi list from 315 to 3131, and which we've been saying yesterday a lot. Um, and then uh, now comes the special sutram. It says that yavat pura nipata yor lat. As I mentioned to you many times, always try to get handle on the adhikars in the ashtadhyayi. So Pani runs the adhikara of uh, um, Bhute from 3 to 84. So it is, as I said, it's the Kalanukramena, 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 in the order of time. So Bhute starts from 3 to 84. Then comes Vartamane Lat from 3 to 123. Vartamane Lat. And after that, Bhavishyati comes from 334. From 334, Bhavishyati. Within that, this, this sutra says the Bhavishyati is for 333. From 333 starts Bhavishyati. And there, um, the sutram, in fact, anant, the next sutram itself, Anantaram sutram, is Yavat Pura Nipata Yor Latta. Yavat Pura Nipata Yor um, um, Latta. So when Yavat and Pura Nipata Yor, so look at the commentary, Yavat Pura Shabda Yor Nipata Yor Upapada Yoho. For yesterday's class, we saw that in detail, right? Because we have this sutram, which is Tatrapapadam Saptam Istham. Tatrapapadam Saptam Istham. From, from 3192, when Pani starts with Vitiyaha Dhato Adhikaraha, in that Dhato Vitiya Dhato Adhikare, when something is in the Saptami, indicated by the Saptami, then that is a Upapadam. So this sutra which we are using right now, 334, of course, is in, in the Adhikaraha. This goes to the end of chapter 3. It says, Yavat Pura Nipatayor, that is a Saptami Dvivachanam. So when the Yavat and Pura, when they are Nipatas, when the Nipatas are used in Upapadam, when they are close by, then what do we, of course, this, this will not give Upapada Samasaha, because we saw Upapadam a thing, Upapadam a thing, Tingantam the Samasya, it will not be a Samasaha, but nevertheless, these are, these have the, these are uh, the, um, so Yavat and Pura is the Upapadam. Because of this, this Saptami Nirdeshaha in the Sutra. So let, so Yavat Pura Shabdayo Nipatyo Upapadayo Ho. Bhavishyati Kale Dhato Lat Pratya Bhavati. So let can be used in Bhavishyati Arthe, in the um, sense of future. If, if this Yavat or Pura 
is the upapadam. Well, again, it's not a samasaha because because of upapadam, a thing, not will not come a compound. But this this yavat, if yavat or pura, these one of these two, which is a nipataha, becomes uh, is an upapadam, is close by, is is on the left hand side, is used in conjunction with that, then lat can be used to signify future tense. So, uh, so nipata yau, nipata eta nishtriyam dyota yataha means definitely this will happen. This will definitely happen. So this is almost like pura dushayati means before it's prior itself. Pura normally means prior. Pura prokta maya nagha jnana yoga na sankhya naam karma yoga na yoga naam. Okay, let's inaugurate Gita for today. Today's Gita, I think it's chapter 3, number 3. Loke svindividha nishtha pura prokta maya nagha jnana yoga na sankhya naam karma yoga na yoga naam. So, um, pura prokta means in days of old very very ancient times before before but here it's almost like nishyam jyotayataha means they they are in the future tense so something will definitely like it is almost like it has already happened kind of so now you understand you know so yavat means before it happens which is already kind of happened it's going to happen this is this is this is a, this is a thing waiting to happen so that's what this is special usage when yavat and pura used with lat to signify future tense is just saying that this thing is definitely going to happen. It's about to happen. It's going to happen. So it is waiting. It's waiting to happen, like in English you say. So, so nipata eta nipata eta nishyam jyotayataha. So now what happens if you look at Malinatha? What he says is that Malinatha says that pura dushyati dushyishyati iti iti, and then iti is heto ho. That iti is that that in that iti it signifies it ends the quotation iti matva iti hetoho thinking thus thinking that this is going to happen they did something so that is there's, there's the little you know hetu hetu dyotakaha that that one is signifying hetu this so when the iti ends like that it, you have to supply the matva or something to to make it complete so iti hetoho for this reason. For this reason, and then he says, "Yavat pura nipata yor latta." It is bhavishyat bhavishyat darthe latta. Bhavishyat darthe latta. So, latta has been used to signify a future tense, something which is definitely going to happen, which is going to happen. Let's go back to our document now. So, we got the so instead of du shayati, we have du shayishyati as a future tense. So, it, it means du shayishyati, du shayishyati. Then chakna tuho. Is kind of straightforward. Kanu abadar name is to 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 kind of to to dig to mean to to tear tear up to dig up to dig up. Kanu abadar abadar name. So kan plus lit paroksha lit and um, in the pratyaya tus first we will get the uh, upadesha ajuna nasika it halantyam tasya lopaha tiptasji. Pratya tas came, it, it is Pratham Purusha Dvivachanam, because Rama Lakshmanao Karatarao. And then we got the Nal Atus Osso Atus Tas Thane Atus Adeshaha. So then Tatpashat um, Atus Sakara is not an it, Nabivaktao Tusmaha. Tutusmaha. So Sakara is it's a Nyana Bhavati. Uh, then Litidha Torana Bhyasa Sya Litidha Torana Bhyasa Sya Litidha Torana Bhyasa Sya Abhyasa Karyam and then after Abhyasa we will get the Kala uh, Adishya Shaha then Kuhosh Chuhu these are all uh, Samanya Karyani we see this in the daily examples many times already Cha Khan Atus and then what happens is that this Gama Hana Jana Khana Ghasam Lopaha Kinityanangi so this atus pratyaya is, is apit, apit. So asanyoga litkita. So asanyoga paraha apit litkitsyat. Apit litkitsyat. Sutra which we use all the time is one two four, which is the sarvadhatukam apit. Sarvadhatukam apit. Anuvatya apit comes from there. Next sutra. This you're going to see in our Saturday class in a few few maybe in a couple of months. We do litlakaraha. So by this time next year, this will all be very easy for us. It will all be in the daily examples by that time. But for the time being, this we have not seen this in the daily examples as yet. Asen yoga litkit. So apit litkit siyad. If you look at 1 to 5, we are And that allows 6498 to apply. 6498 to apply. That is asen yoga paraha. 
as I said yesterday, check all the conditions carefully. So here, what do we have? We had, we had, did we have a sanyoga part of the pratyaha? This is the pratyaha here. Then part of we have the nakara, there is no sanyoga. So that's we have to check that. Always check every condition, meticulously, like a, like a lawyer, you know, and see exactly, like a judge, whatever, and see exactly what is satisfied. A sanyoga paraha. So this nakara is there, it's not a sanyoga. Uh, apitlit, atus was, came in place of tas. Neither of them have a pit in there, so this it is apitlit, kitsyata. And then what happens on basis of that, we can now apply this 6498, which is Gamahana um, Any new sutram, repeat it as many times. The best thing you can do, keep on repeating. My teacher used to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and just chant um, Ashtadhyayi as many, as many chapters as he could. Gamahana Jana, because slowly in your mind you will think, hey, what is this sutram? What does it mean? Then you will you will learn. Once you get the meaning, you already know the the optimized form of that rule. It will stick in your head. Gama hana jana khana ghasam lopa kiniti nangi. So esham upadhaya ha lopo jado kiniti natu angi natu angi. Pratya ang we don't have right now, so you don't have to worry about natu angi. But if if the pratya is ang, it doesn't apply, which is fine. We don't have ang right now. Kiniti, we do have that because we just saw asinyoga lit kita. Ajado, we have that also. And we do have the dhatu khan. Gamahana jana khanna ghasam lopa kinitya nangi. Comes in Gita where? Chapter 1. Ghnatopi mudhusudana. Ghnatopi. Ghnatya. Ghnatya. The pratya shatra pratya there. That is that is the as, um, sarvadhatakam apit nitvat. So ghnatya ghnat pradipadikam in, comes in Gita. There we have dhatu han. So in very chapter one of Gita itself, we can practice this sutram. Eta nahantu mitshami ghnatu pimudusudana apitayilo kerajasya heto kinnip mahikrute. Nyatya dhata rashtra naha kapiti syajanardana. Papume vashe dasman hatvaita natata inha tasman narha vayam hantum. Dhata rashtra subandhavan. It's coming here somewhere. Here it is. Ghnatu api. Next time you chant Bhagavad Gita, chapter 1, Shloka 35, when you see the form Gnat, Gnat, this is Dhatu Han, Pratya Shatra has been used here, Sarvadhatu Kumapit, think of this sutram, Dhamma Hana Jana Khanna Ghasam Lopa Knitya Nangi, Knitya Nangi. Okay, um, so we got Chakna Tuhu, Chakna Tuhu, then finally, Sasaju Shoruhu Karavasane Urvisarjani, Chakna Tuhu. So that so we already did a translation last time. The meaning of the shloka is that um, having pounded him completely, the two descendants descendants of Kakustha, Ramalakshmana, thinking that they were sure that he would spoil that place with his impure, with his nasty smell, thinking that they dug him deep in the ground, Nichaknatuhu deep in the ground. Vyakshanamati, we got everything. Kakustasya gotra patye pumasu kakustau Rama Lakshmano. He nicely clarifies that Rama Lakshmano. Tam viradham. Said to you many times, beautiful thing Amulinath has always clarifies. Tam viradham. Vinishpishya hatva. You see, having killed him. Ashuchina apavitrena. This impure smell. Gandhena. Sthalim is ashram bhuvam. Ashram bhuvam. The, the area of the ashram. Pura dushayati dushayati iti hetoho yavat pura nipata yavar latta iti bhavishyad darthe latta vasudhaya nichaknatuhu bhumo khanitva nikshipta vantau means having dug having dug in the having dug the ground they threw him in there he said nichaknatuhu really means that you know they dug they dug him, but, but in they dug him into the ground, this is what it means. I mean, the meaning is obvious, but he clarifies that. Khanitva, having dug, nikshipta vantau. They, they, they threw him in there. Having dug the ground, they threw him in there. They buried him, they buried him in there. Okay, we did that last time. We did transition last time also. Uh, let's do the Anantaram, anantaram Shloka. This is uh, Ekatrim Shaha. Pancha Vatyam Tato Ramaha. Shasanat Kumbhajan Manaha Anapurasthitis Tastav Vindhya Dehi Prakrita Viva Prakrita Viva Panchavatyam Tato Ramaha Shasanat Kumbhajan Manaha 
अनपोढ़ अनपोढ़ स्थितिस्तस्थव विंध्यादेश प्रकृता विव प्रकृता विव सो पदच्छेदाय पंचवट्याम तथा रामा हा शासनात कुंभजन्मना हा अनपोढ़ स्थिति ही तस्थव विंध्याद्री प्रकृताव Eva, of course, you see the H O Yava Yava. Practice these rules, H O Yava Yava. Even if it's a simple rule, understand exactly what the rule says, in which adhikara the rule is coming. So all these details you can you can practice. Um, so it says here, so prakritau eva prakritau H O Yava Yava. This the the kriya padam is tasthau. Tingan tam padam tasthau. Tasthau means he stayed. He stood. He stayed. So this is the Ata Aunalaha. So let's let's form this form Tasthau first. Simple sentence is Rama ha Tasthau. Ram always try to get a grip on the simple sentence. Then you can add because in Sanskrit you have so many adjectives, so many clauses, this and that. Just find out the simple sentence, which is not very times it's quite easy. Because now, if you're following a thing in the prakriya, that's what I'm saying. This this Pani Vyakaranam is is because it 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 grabs the heart of the sentence, you know. So we have a simple sentence: Rama tasthau, Rama has stayed. Then you say tataha. So after that, tadanantram, tadanantram, Rama tasthau. He stayed. He stayed. Panchavatyam tasthau. This place called Panchavati. It is the group of five. Trees. That's called Panchavati. Panchavati Yam Tasthau. Then this is clearly Upama is being given here. Vindhyadrihi Iva. Like the Vindhya mountain. Vindhyadrihi Iva. And then Kumbhajanmanaha Shasanat. These all you can add later now. So 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 for due to the thing Hetau. So following the command of Agasti. Agasti Rishi. Agasti Rishi. So um, he stayed there. Then we have an adjective here. Anapurasthiti he. Anapa an apa udha. Udha is from the hatu va. So 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 staying within the proper limits of acharya. So following the proper conduct, being within the bounds of good conduct. So not giving up, not giving up the yogya sthiti he. Not giving up his proper state, anapurasthiti, and that goes both ways. So with vindhyadrihi also, the vindhyadrihi. There, there is. In fact, let me read just to understand the context. Let me read the the commentary, nice commentary by Professor Devadhar, because it will give you a flavor of what is going on. See, all of these are Puranic stories. So if you don't know the story, it needs a little bit less. So let me read. It says. Uh, it says that uh, Kumbhajan Manaha. It says. He also is referred to as Kumbha Yonihi. The reference is to a Puranic story of Agastya's birth from a picture Kumbha. So it says. So if I if I put that in the document here, so Kumbha Janman, Kumbha Janma Yasya Saha, one who is born born from a picture, Kumbha Janma Yasya Saha, Kumbha Janma. So this Kum Kumbha Jan. I'm sorry. Kumbha Janman Pradipadikam. Kumbha Janman. So it becomes Kumbha Janma, like Atman Pradipadikam. Kumbha Janma. It's a Bahuri compound. Kumbha Janman. Now, okay, before we go to that, let's just quickly look at this. Normally when you use a, a Bahuri compound, which is by Sutram 2.2.24, which we see in the Wednesday class very soon, from next week onwards, maybe a week after that. Bahuri Samasaha, most of the time, the two term will have Samanadhi Karanam. Samanadhi Karanyam, Samanadhi Karanyam, Samanadhi Karanyam means they will usually have the each will be have the same Adhi Karanam. So that is means that it will they will refer to the same thing. Like we say, that's what is meant by Samanadhi Karanyam, Samanadhi Karanyam, Samanadhi Karanyam is a property of Samanadhi Karanam. It's called Samanadhi Karanyam. So. Like we say, you know, Pita Amara, Vishnu, Pita Amara, Yasya Saha, we say Mahabahu, Mahanta, Bahu, Yasya Saha. So those two are generally adjective noun. They refer to the same item in the compound. But here we have Kumbhat Janma, yes, Kumbhat Janma. So Janma and Kumbhan, Kumbha and Janma are not, and Janma are not refer to the same item. His birth is one thing, the pot is another thing. Now how do you justify that? 
this this what they do is that they they, they use this sutram uh, just quickly mention again we see in the Wednesday class this we're going to see this shortly now so example is like you know like the chakra pani chakram panau yasya saha chandra shekaraha chandraha shekare yasya saha so these are all what's called vyadhikarana bahuvrihi vyadhikarana bahuvrihi so the vyadhikaranam is there so that means that vyadhikaranam means they're not referring to the same thing now how do we justify that um, so here on 2 2 24 says aneka manya padarthe and then um, but here comes this sutra which Pani says saptami visheshane bahuvri hau says that in a bahuvri compound saptim saptam yantam padam or the visheshanam should go first in the bahuvri compound as a general rule every term has upasajana sanya so this sutra upasajanam purvam is no use in the bahuvri compound to decide the purnipataha this sutra upasajanam purvam doesn't help us because in this samasavidaka sutram anekam prathama nirdishtam so every so lot of the all these terms which go in the compound generally have the sanya of upasajanam so upasajanam purvam will not help us make a decision of the purnipataha so then Pranini has specific rules and first one he says saptami visheshane bahuvri hau the bahuvri compound the adjective of the saptam yantam padam will go first the question is that how can we have saptam yantam padam because you're supposed to have samadhi karanam, samadhi samadhi karanyam, samadhi karanyam. So now how will that help us? So that this becomes a nyapakaha. That that means that we are allowed to have some bahuri compounds where we don't have samadhi karanyam, we don't have samadhi karanyam. So we don't have that. So if you look at the commentary on 2.235, you see that this is the nyapakaha, 2.235 says that uh, Sarvopasajanatva, see what the comment says, Sarvopasajanatva, every term upasajana sanya, Sarvopasajanatva, bahuvrihe, anyame prapte, there is no niyamaha for making purnipataha. Niyamartam vachanam, saptam yantam visheshanam cha, bahuvri sama, se purvam prayoktavyam, prayoktavyam. Then the behind he says that, uh, he might say here that, uh, sarvanama sankhya upasankhyanam, <coughs> okay, bahuvri ho. Oh, here it is. Atayeva nyapakad vidikarana vidikarana pado bahuvrihi. This is the nyapakaha that says that we can have a bahuvri compound in which the two terms don't have samana dhikaranyam. So, anyway, this is going to come in the Wednesday class now in details. So this 2235 is a nyapakaha which tells us that we may have some bahuvri compound, we don't have samana dhikaranyam. So, Yatna we have Kumbha Janma Yasya Saha, Kumbha Janma Yasya Saha. So, and let's continue with the story here, not to spoil the Katha Ruchi by the Vyakaranam. So, he says that he references a Puranika story of Agastya's birth from a pitcher, from a Kumbha. Agastya was born as a son of the gods Mitra and Varuna. When these two gods saw the celestial nymph, the, the uh, Apsaraha, Urvashi, their passions were aroused and their semen fell partly in a pitcher and partly out of it. So some fell in the pitcher, some fell out of it. This is a Puranic story. So their, their semen fell in the pitcher and partly outside of it. Agastya was born from that portion of the semen which fell in the pitcher, which fell inside. So he became Kumbha Janma, Kumbha, Kumbha Yonihi. And Vasishta was born from that which fell outside. That is the story of the Agastya in short. So, uh, so that's why it's called Kumbha, Kumbha Janman. Now, uh, Kumbha Janma Yasya Saha. Now this form Tastav, we'll come to the Panchavati in a second. Let's finish out the form Tastav while we are on the document here. So, uh, okay. Dhatu Ishtha Gati Nivruttav. We've seen in daily examples already. Ishtha Gati Nivruttav means not to move. Gati Nivrutti means to stop moving, to stay, to stay in one place. This is Ishtha. In English, to stay, right? Sta is to stay. <laughs> same, same that to English also. Stay. And it becomes sta by the uh, usual steps, which is the dhatva desha saha, the dantya desha, and then parivasha sutra nimitta paaye, naimittika syapya paaye. Nimittam for this, for this, uh, 
Shakara was this Chunashtu who was the Urjana Shakara. When that went away because of the Dhatva the Shasaha, Naimittikasya Api Apayaha, the effect also went away. So we got Stha. So again Stha plus lit usual steps, which is uh, Parokshe lit. Then um, Anubandha Lopaha, Tiptajji. Now remember that in this case, in every case, lit lit adesha stiptajis they do not have sanyaf sarvadhatukam they have sanyaf ardhatukam even though we have think shit sarvadhatukam because of litya sutram litya sutram these tiptajji the same tiptajji when they come in place of lit they don't they get the sanya of ardhatukam as i mentioned to you in our saturday class we see this in a few weeks we'll be seeing this now in great detail so but sutram is litya Litya Sutram says that the Tibadayaha, Litadayashaha, Ardhatuka Sanyaka Sihu. That means that the Tib, etc., when they come in place of Lit, so that is what prevents the Kartari Shap. Because otherwise, you have a Kartari Shap is Sarvadhatuke. Sarvadhatuke. So Litadayashaha, Ting, Ardhatuka Sanyaha, what Bhattuji says, Litadayashaha, Ting, Ardhatuka Sanyaha. So that's because Kartari Shab, we have Kartari, but it's own, this is not Sarvadhatuke, this is Ardhatuke. That's what stops Shab. Then we get the Nal Adesha, Parasipadanam, Nal Atasus, mentioned to you many, many times that once you finish 3.478, don't leave 3.4. Finish up 3.4 before moving anywhere else. So these, these Pratyas, which are default, if Taji will change, some transformation, they say the Nitya Karyani, Lakara Samman, Lakara Ashita Karyani. They depend on the lakara only most of the time. So here the lakara is lit, the tip becomes null. Parasipada nam null atasus tal atas or null vamaha. Tip becomes null. Then we get the abhyasa karim vritidha to or an abhyasa sya. Raswa adesha. Now comes a special rule. Normally we should have had the haladish shesha. Haladish shesha iti sutrena. Sakara sya lopaha prapyate. Because when it's normally when you say that the. Um, Sorry, Thakara Silopa Prapyate. Haladis Haladis Shesha Di Sutra, no? Thakara Silopa Prapyate. Because we say that Adir Hal Shishyate Anye Lupyante. The Adi Hal is in this case is Sakara. That should have stayed. The Thakara should have taken Lopaha. That's not the that's not at the beginning of the of the of the term. But a special rule which so this is one special rule here, the form tastau. That's the next sutram which is seven four sixty one. Seven four Sharpurva Kaya. Sharpurva this is this is Sharpurva Kaya Napawada for Haladi Sheshaha. Sharpurva Kaya. Napawada for Haladi Sheshaha. Well it says that if you have a Sharkar combination. Sharkar combination. So which is what we have right now, we have st. So the first letter is Shar Shashasar. The Sakar is a Shar. Following, sorry, Shar Purva Kaya, Shar Kai combination. So Kha, Pha, Cha, Cha, Tha, Cha, Cha, Tau, Kha, Pai. Up to there. So that, that one, the Thakara is in that. Thakara is in that. So, so this combination which you have, Abhyasasya, Shar Purva Kaya, Shishyante, Anyehalaha Lupyante. In the Abhyasa, if you have a letter of the Kai Pratyaha, Kai, Kai. Kai goes from, from the, uh, for the, basically anything from column 2 or Dvitiya Varanaha to Prathama Varanaha. Was Kha, Pha, Cha, Tha, Tha, Cha, Tha, Tha, Kha, Pha. So Kha, Pha, Cha, Tha, Tha, then Cha, Tha, Tha, Kha, Pha. So you need to have a letter of the Dvitiya Varanaha, Dvitiya Atha Prathama Varanaha, first or second column, and preceded by in a conjunct by a Shar. If this is the condition that you have in the Abhyasa, then the Khai will stay and the Shar will go away. So Shar Purva Khaya Shishyante Anye Halaha Lupyante. So what has happened here is that by Haladi Sheshaha, this Thakara should have taken Lopaha. But the Thakara is, a, is in the Khai Pratyaharaha. It's preceded, directly preceded by the Sakara, which is a Shar. So you have a Shar Purva Khai. Sharpurvaha khai. It is a khai which has a shar prior to it in a conjunct. Then, Sharpurvaha khaya ha shishyante anye halaha lupyante. Anye halo lupyante. So that means that this, this thakara will stay, sakara will go. This is an apavada for haladishyesha. 
Apovada for Haladi Sheshaha. So if you have a Khai letter, column one or two, in a conjunct preceded by a Shar letter, then that Khai will stay, the Shar will go, become the Stha, and then Ata Unalaha. Ata Unalaha. So if you have an Adanta Mangam, then the Nal takes the Awadesha, Ata Unalaha, and then Vudhirechi. Vudhirechi, and finally we get the uh, Abhyase Charcha. Thakar takes the the, the prana is lost because alpa prana takara tasthau. So one more time, we had the usual steps naladeshaha, and then instead of getting haladeshesha, we got sharpurva shkayaha, and then we got the, the again the ata aunalaha comes in Gita shankam dadmo pratapavan shankam dadmo chapter one of Gita itself ata aunalaha adanta mangam you have the following null text the awadeshaha prudhirechi and then abhyasi charcha. Okay, that's the form Tastau. Okay, now Vindhya Adrihi is a simple uh, Karmadharya compound. Vindhya is, is an Adri, uh, is Adrihi is a mountain by name of Vindhya. So Vindhya is qualifying Adrihi by name. So Vindhya Chasau Adrishya. Vindhya Akya Adrihi is a mountain by name Vindhya. Samadhikaran Mithakrusha compound. Clearly, Pradhanyam is the, is the mountain and is an adjective there. So Visheshnam Visheshnam Bahulam. Wants it. straight Karmadharya compound. Uh, now let's come, let's, let's, okay, let's go to the Vyakshan. Let's see what Mulinath So we've done some simple stuff on our own. Let's now go to the Vyakshan. Let's see what Mulinath has to say. So what you should always do is try to work out some simple things on your own before you run to the, to the Vyakshan, you know. That way you can um, kind of build the, build the stage, set the stage for the Vyakshan. So let us see what he says now. First of all, he's going to form, let's see, okay. Tataha, he puts Tata at the top of the sentence. Notice that Tataha came in the in the shlokaha one word later than in English. That always have these connecting terms come one word later in English. Many of them. So Tataha is, is supposed to top. So we will not say in English. We will say then. We see he says Panchavatyam Tataha Chaturamaha. So you should be always try to spot that connect connector. The connector is put one word later than you expect in English. So it comes Chaturamaha. Uh, Kumbha Janmanah Agastasya. This is Shashti Ekochanam. Kumbha Janman. Kumbha Janmanah. Also to refresh your memory. Allopo Naha. Iti Akar Lopaha Praptaha. But then, Nasin Yoga Dvamanta. So, so, Ato Lopaha. If you have Angam, which is a Bhasanyaha. Bhasanyaha. So, this sutra is seven. Angasidhikara starts from, sorry, Vasya Dikara from six four one twenty nine Vasya. And then Allopo Naha. So if you have an un ending an angam ending in un, it becomes like Rajnya. So what is Shashti of Rajan become Rajnya? So if you have an antam angam, which is the bhasanya, then what happens is that the akara of that un takes lopaha. Lopaha. That na pratyabi uses nyas. Kumbha Janman plus nyas Anubanda Lope Yas. So by Yachibham that, that angam kumbha janman is the bhasanya. It's ending in the an. So we should have akar lopaha. But na sanyoga dvamantat. Na sanyoga dvamantat. So uh, that is that says that if you have a uh, vakara, uh, vakara uh, so if you have a sanyoga preceding the an, sanyoga ending in vakara or makaraha, then allopona doesn't take place. So prior to the an, you should have a sanyoga. Sanyoga should be ending in either in a vakara or makara. So what we have, we have janman. So kumbha janma, so janma, that nakara makara sanyoga is there. It's a makara anta sanyoga. So that's what prevents this. The sanyoga dvamantat, the sanyoga dvamantat. So that's what prevents it. So he says, so he, he says, he clarifies kumbha janma raha, agastyasya shasadat. So nicely he puts the, the shashti padam, the samandha is put, directly before the noun called that the noun connects with it connects with like you say my book his order order of the say so like by the so like this is like the, the nyas is like in English the apostrophe s you know apostrophe s his so Agastya's order so shasana so by the order so due to the order of of uh, uh, of Agastya Agastya I should say Agastya shasana then he forms this thing about the panchavati 
So this is like the compound in fact we saw in the we've seen the Wednesday class we already saw this. This is digu samasaha. So let's see how nicely it says panchanam vatanam. This vata is what the vriksha kind of trees. Panchanam vatanam samahara panchavati. Like the form ashtadhyayi, right, which we saw, Tiloki. So we have seen this in the Wednesday class in great detail already. This Dvigu Samasaha, Sankhya Purva Dvigu, like Ashtanam Adhyayanam Samahara Ashtadhyayi. You know, so uh, Panchanam Vatanam Samahara Panchavati, Taditartha Uttarapade Samahari, Chaviti Tat Purushaha. The Purusha compound, the special case of the Karmadharya compound, and it says that oh, let's see what we, but so let's see now we can easily follow because we already done this in the class in the Wednesday class. So what is happening here is that in this Karmadharya compound, first first is the restriction put by Panini. Panini puts a restriction. He says Dik Sankhya Sanyaya. A Dik Vachaka Shabda Sankhya Vachaka Shabda can only be used Sanyaya. You cannot form a compound like Pancha Brahmanaha. You can form Chaturvedaha is allowed, Pancha Brahmana is not allowed. Saptarisheha is allowed, Pancha Brahmana is not allowed because you have to have Sanyash, which should be specific seven rishis, not any seven. So there are no specific five Brahmanas, so you cannot form that compound. So that's what we had. But then this next sutra must say, Taditar Tutrapada Samaha Recha. If you're going to bring a Tadita Pratya following that, you can use this Dikka Sankhya in, to form this compound on the condition. If you're following, if you're forming a compound with three padas, then the first two it's okay to use sankhya digvacha shabda as a pura padam. And samaharecha, making a samaharaha, then also you can use this one. Samahara of course only sankhya vacha shabda will come. So this is samahare. Samahare. So this is and sankhya puru digoho. So out of these when this year, dik and sankhya both were coming down, but in these three cases, when you form this Karmadharya compound, then if it's a Sankhya Purva compound, it's a Dvigu compound. Sankhya Purva Dvigu. Let's look at this very quickly. We've already seen this in detail in, in the so 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, 50, 1, 52, 2, 1, 50, 1, 52, Tadita Arthotra Samaharecha, and then so, Tadita Arthi Vishaye, if you, if it's going to be in the context of bringing Tadita Pratya, after that, Uttara Padecha, like if it's a, it's a compound with three terms, Parataha, Samaharecha Vachi, this is the main thing, which signifies a collection, Samaharecha Vachi, Dik Sankhe Pragvat, means they can form, so Dik Sankhe, they can be, they can go into, they can compound with another term to form a Tatpurusha compound. Now Sankhya Puru Adjigoho, you say Taditartha Uttara, Taditartha Ityatra, so among those three, so if we use a in one of these three senses, Taditartha, Taditartha Vishay, Uttara Pade, Samaha, Echa, Vache, then if it's Sankhya Purva only gets Vigo. So Dik Purvaka doesn't get. Sankhya Purva is called Vigo. Let's follow what Malinatha says. So here what do we have? We have the Panchana, Vatanam, Samaharaha. So we can use Panchan to form a Karmadharya compound special Dvigu compound because it's Samaharaha, Samaharecha Vachye. So Sankhya Puru Dvigu Ho, oh, see there's some typo here, uh, this is a typo, see this is a typo, Sankhya Puru Dvigu Ho, there's a typo here I think, let's correct that please, it should be Sankhya Puru Dvigu Ho, I think because this next sutra is Dvigu Ho, but that, let me just double check that, should be correct, it should be Sankhya Puru Dvigu Ho, yeah, that's the typo here, please. So it's Sankhya Purva Dvigoho. That's also the number of this number also is wrong. It should be two one fifty two. It should be two one fifty two, not twenty two. Sankhya Purva Dvigoho two one fifty. Iti Dvigu Sanyayam. Why do you need Dvigu Sanya? Because Dvigoho iti Nip. Because when, as I said too many times, that you cannot use anything in the feminine unless it passes the checkpoint to the Adhikara of Striyam. It has to go to the department of Striyam. And it has to go through all those sutras and see if any one of them apply to make any changes. So nothing can be used in the feminine in this language unless it is unless it is it is certified by this adhikara of striya, adhikara of striya, which which runs from from four one three to 
4180 ish. So that is this Adhikara Striyam. And there Panini has a sutram which says Dvigoho. Dvigoho. 41. So the Anavritya thing of Neep is coming down here. And Panini says Dvigoho. If you have Dvigu Samasaha, it has to be, if you want to use the feminine, then, then what happens is that um, you have to play the Patya Neep has to be used after that. Dvigoho. So iti iti uh, neep. So if you look at let, let's look at that one very quickly. That's four one four one twenty one four one twenty one four one twenty one dvigoho. So look at the numbers. Be careful the number. This is triyamadikaraha. So dvigo sanyaka pratipadika striyam neep pratyabhavati neep pratyabhavati. So yeah, basically it's adantam it's ataha. So uh, Adanta, if you adantam pradivadikam you have, it's going to be used in the feminine, which is a dvigu samasaha. So rather than getting the ajad yata shtap, the default tap pratyaha, you're going to get the ni pratyaha. And dvigure kavachanam iti e kavachanam, dvigure kavachanam, said when you have one is dvigu samasa, it takes e kavachanam only, it takes e kavachanam. So that's how we say, so one more time, panchanam vatanam samahara panchavati, taditartho trapada samaha recha. Iti tatpurushaha. Sankhya puru dvigu, the typo here. Iti dvigu sanya yam. So having got the dvigu sanya, then dvigu ho iti neep. Dvigu re ekvachanam iti ekvachanam. Let's go to our document here, which I just copied paste from one of, the, one of the classes, Wednesday classes. So panchavati is formed similar to ashtadhyayi. Ashtana madhyayanam samara ashtadhyayi. Ashtan plus am, adhyaya plus, plus am. Because it's a samaharaha. So first we have this Diksankhe uh, Sanya. So Tadita Tutrapade Samaharecha Sankhya Purva Dvigoho. Now Pratama Nidhishtam Samasa Upasajanam. Anuvritya of Diksankhe comes from 21, comes into 2151 from 2150. So Diksankhe is the Pratama Dvivachanam. So Dvivachaka Shabda, Sankhya Vachak Shabda. So Samarthena Subantena Samasyate. So that Diksankhe is Pratama Nidhishtam. Anuvritti is coming down. Let's take the Purunipata. That takes the Purunipata. So that because Supasajanam Purvam. So Ashtan goes first. That's Sankhya Vachak Shabda. Then Ashtan, then you get Supluk by Prusual Kritita Samasascha. Supodhadu Padavitka Yoho Supluk. Ashta plus Adhyaya. Because Pratyay Lope Pratyay Lakshanam Supting Antam Padam. Pratyay Aam was there. It took look, but it's okay. We got pratyal, 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 lakshanam, supting antam padam. It won't stop the padasanya. Then no lopaha, pradipadikantasya, ashtaprasadhyaya. Now, we have to apply akasana dirgha, but the nakar lopaha was done in the tripadi section. How can we come back and do the, because nakar lopaha asiddhasyat. In the eyes of akasana dirgha, how is it going to see the Nakar Lopa, which needs to be seen by it in order to, in order to understand that Nakar has gone away. It should be, so that is by 822. Nalopaha, Supsura Very important Sutram, which we see over and over again in daily examples. Like almost every time we see that, they put that example, which is this Nakar Lopaha, which is done, is Asiddhaha, only for these operations, which are mentioned 822. So Nakar Lopaha, Nalopaha, Supsvara Sanya Tubhidishukruti. So Subantam Karim is there in the Subantam, something with the involving a sup, Supsvara in the Vedic Swaras and Sanya or Tubhidishukruti. Tubhidishukruti Pratyaha. So these are all, this is, let's look at this one. So I'll just quickly look in daily examples here. So we had this question about Nalopas Supsvara Sanya Tubhidishukruti. That would be Atma, I become Atma Iva. Because this sutram, Nanopa Pradivadikantasya has been used to get Naka Lopaha. Like we had Ashtan, we came Ashta. Ashta we have. So as for Purut Purutra Siddham, this Naka Lopaha to arrive at the form Ashta should be not be visible to Akasarma Dirgaha, so Pradun Ashtadhyayi. But Nalopaha Subsasana Niyama Sutram, Nalopaha Subsasana Tukhudishukriti limits the authority of it to one and says Naka Lopaha is not visible only to those rules which are in those four categories. So sup vidhav, sarv vidhav, sanya vidhav, kriti tuk vidhav. And right now we have akasame dirgha. That's not in that list. So this becomes siddha ashtadhyaya. Now there is this sutram 2417. We say sanapum sakam. 
sanapum sakam sutram is. So this, this drigu samasaha should really be, which is that samahare drigur dvandvascha napum sakam syat. Shabhad napum sakam. Then how are we getting ashtadhyayi and panchavati, triloki? How are we getting these kind of terms? On the other we have panchapatram. There we had samasaha, which, which, was, which was in napum sakam. So there is a vartikam on that. It says that akaranta uttrapada diguhu striyam bhashyate. So the vartikam says that if you have akaranta uttrapada diguhu striyam bhashyate. It is now in the feminine. So even though sanapusakam panini says vartikam says akaranta uttrapada diguhu striyam bhashyate. Panchapuli etc. And then says that um, but he says, Patra Adibhya Pratishyada Vaktavya. Then comes a counter exception. If the word is in Patra, etc., it should be Panchanam, Patranam, Patranam, Samahara, Pancha Patra. It goes back to, goes back to Sanapum Sakam. So basically, if you have a um, Jigu Samasa ending in a the Uttar Padam is in Akaraha, it will go in the feminine, but there are some counter exceptions like Pancha Patram, etc. So, so it will become Patra Aditva, it will say. It will go, to the, go back to the uh, Sanapum Sakam. So, we try to, we need to use this Vartikam, we say that Akaranto, this is a typo here, Akaranto, Akaranto Tarapado Dvigoho Striyam Bhashyate. So, we use that Vartikam and then we get the Pratyanyip, and once we get Striyam, then we have to use Dvigoho. Dvigoho Sutram 4121. So, Akaranto Tarapado Dvigoho Striyam Ishtaha, then we use Dvigoho Sutram. So, if you have a Dvigos compound to be used in the feminine, but the Anip has to be used, not the top, Ajadhyata top. So, and then we, after that we get the Anubhunda Lopaha, Yashakota Jite Halantyam, and then Bhasanya. Remember, not only does the Supratyas, but all the Sri Pratyaha, as well as Tadhyataha, they all are in the Swadi list. So, Swadishwasura Namasthani, Padasanya, Yachibham, Bhasanya, then Yassi Tichya, we use all the time, all the time, all the time. Avarnantasya, Yavarnantasya, Bhasanya Kasya, Angasya, Lopu Bhavati, Tadhite Eka Recha Pare, we have Eka Raha here, this Akar takes Lopaha become Ashtadhyayi. So, one more time quickly, is that we formed a Samasa on the basis of 2.151. That's the first thing. We have to find a Sutra in 2.1 or 2.2. We got Digu Sanya by Sankhya Puru Digu. When 2151 forms a compound and the, the, the Pura Padam is Sankhya Vajaka Shabdaha, then they guess the Digu Sanya. Then we got with the, the usual operations and then we got Nakar Lopaha by Nalopa Padipadi Kantasya. We made it Siddha by the Niyama Sutram, Nalopaha, Supsura Sanya, Tabudi Shukriti, Akasavan Dirgaha. And then because we got the Digu Sanya back here, we use this sutram Dvigoho. But prior to that, we had to deal with this sutram Sanapum Sakam. But the Vartikam helped us start by saying Akaran Tutrapadu Dvigoho Striyamishtaha. Then we got the, and then we get the um, Akar Lyasyati Chakar Lopa Ashtadhyay. It's good to see when, when they were, it's nice to see that what's been given in the by Malinatha, we already know. All this, we already know all of this. This 2151, Tadita Sankhya Puru Diguho. Digoho, Digure Kavachanam, all that we know. All that already Digure Kavachanam also we need. So Digure Kavachanam, all that we all all is already known to us. So it's nice nice to know that even in, in you know the Homshakav and Malayata commentary, nothing new for us. We already know all of this. So this is all. And then Tasyam Panchavatyam. So he stayed in there. Vindyadrihi Prakrutau Iva. Prakrutau is Vruddehe Purva Vasthayam Iva. This is another story. That Vindhya Drihi was, you know, Vruddehe Purva Purva Vasthayam. He started he was trying to grow. So Agasti went and commanded him to I think stay down until he returned back. And he never returned back. So so Vindhya Dri is staying in his natural means prior state. Means Prakruto means in natural prakruti. Prakruto means natural state, means Vruddehe Purva Vasthayam Iva. Like the Vindhya Dri stays within his his natural bounds, his natural state, means before he started growing. So, same way, Anapodhasthitihi, look at the Vigravakyam, 
अनपोढ़ा स्थिति ही यश सहा वन हु स्टेट वन हु कंडीशन अनपोढ़ा मीन्स इज नॉट अन अनतिक्रांत मर्यादा स्थौ स्थिति इज मर्यादा द बाउंड ऑफ ऑफ आचार of conduct so rama has to within within without giving up the bounds of his conduct anatikrant maryada without transgressing his bounds to transgressing the proper customs the proper things to do so just like vindhyadri stayed by the command of agastya in his natural state similarly rama also by the command of of of, of agastya he stayed within his his bounds of his conduct so this this is a double the pun being used over here so vindyadi was staying physically in his in his natural bound in his in his bounds so rama was staying in terms of his conduct within his bounds so he says anapar anapoda sthiti is anatikranta maryada anatikranta maryada yasya saha so one who is or yena saha by whose uh, anapoda sthiti hi yena saha so atyakta sthiti atyakta so okay let's form this let's look at the details of this one <coughs> okay this dhatu is vah like we have uh, trayanam lokanam sab sri loki i just told you about that okay vah prapane vah is to carry is to carry so vah is to carry when we when you use a pratyakta with that taktavatu nishtha sutra with nishtha in the bhute adhikara which we just saw takta pratyaha This is a passive construct because of the sutram. Tayore va kritiyakta kalar tha ha. It's used many many times that normally kartri krut be the one who carries, but here when it's pratiyakta, when we use, it becomes the one who's carried. It becomes carried. So carried. So this sutram is three, four, six, seven is kartri krut, but tayore va kritiyakta kalar tha ha. Mahavakarmano ho eva pratiyakta. Both kartri and tabatu have the nishta. sanya but the pratyakta among those two can only be used in the passive normally it also is an exception down here but right now it's in the passive but they were able to take the kartaha now we do the um, what happens is that when the lopaha lashak patadite it takes some prasaranam vachi sapi ajadi naam kiti vachi sapi ajadi naam kiti which you have seen in the daily examples a few times this this vach swap and yajadi yajadi is the last nine dhatus in the vadigana in that dhatu vah is in there takes some prasaram kiti which is yajadi nam kiti kit pratya was following even before that this is a this 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 is a anid dhatu anudapt upadesha dhatu we say in the hantesh always check always check idagama let me let me check that for you hanteshu hanteshu 7 to 10 says hanteshu dah dih duha nah mih ruh lih vaho ashtau अनिधातु, so it not a villa, no villa arg maha, so we take some prasaranam, vakaras, so ignorance some prasaranam, plus some vakara comes ukara ha, then u plus o, some prasarana cha, some prasarana cha, some prasarana cha, yes, pura pariyo ho eka adesha, is the pura rupa meka adesha, so becomes u the na comes hold ha, jali padante, so we finish the sapa sapta jai. Two three padi now and get this is only sandhi karya. Hold ha, but the jal is falling so hold ha. Then jasa tator jasa tator do ha, jasa tator do ha jasa ha. So falling in number four letter tatho ho, thakara thakara ha. Takes thakara desha adha, but not for dhatu dha. Jasa tator do ha, jasa tator do ha. ढकार जो ढकार व ढकार व्हेन इज देयर इज ढकार रहा फॉर व ढकार रहा देन द प्रायर वन टेक्स लोपा ढोढे लोपा लुकिंग एट दिस नंबर्स नाउ हाउ वी कम बैक टू 8313 आफ्टर यूजिंग 8441 व्हिच इन अ सामर्थ्यात व्हिच इन अ सामर्थ्यात बिकॉज़ द फैक्ट इज दैट दैट ढोढे लोपा विल नॉट फाइंड एप्लीकेशन अनलेस यू अलाउ ढोढे लोपा टू सीस टू नाश्ट हो 
will not find any application. So we allow this Dhode Lopa to see the Dhaka Aishad and Vaishtanash too, but Vachana Samarthyat. Nitha Sutam Vyartam Syat, otherwise Sutam will be Yartam. So the Vachana Samarthyat, and then Dha Lope Puva Sadir Ghonaha. Same thing here. When you have a Dhakara or Repa Lopaha, then the prior and becomes Dirga. Dha Lope Puva Sadir Ghonaha. Same thing here. This Sutam is, is in the Sapa Sapta Dhyayi. How can you see the Karyam done by 8, 3, 13? Because if you don't allow, because Dha Lopa only takes by 8, 3, 13, 14, Dhodhe Lopa and Rori. If you don't allow 6311 to see those, it will never find any application. So by Vachana Samarthya, you have to allow Dha Lopa, because the Dha Lopa, Dhaka Lopa and Repa Lopa takes place only 8, 3, 13, 14. Now 6311, if it doesn't see that, it will never apply. So even though this is in the Spas of Tajai, Vachana Samarthya, we allow to see it becomes Udha. Udha. Then upper Udha, because this is the Gatishcha, um, Pradeha, Upasarga Kriyayave Gatishcha from Gatisamasaha, Apodha by Adgunaha, Apodha, means carried away, carried away, means gone away, kind of gone away, taken away, taken away, Apodha means taken away, and Apodha is a Nyantat Purushaha. So, Na Apodha, Anapodha. So, Anapodha will be in this case. So, by Sutam Nyai, which we have seen in the Wednesday class already in detail. And then what? Na Lopo Nyaha. Then, Tasmandudachi. Uh, Tasmandudachi. So, when the Nakara of the Nyai goes away, and then if the following is a Acha, that takes the Nut Agama. Tasmandudachi. So, 6 3. The moment you utter the word Nyai, always think of the Sutra Dvayam. Which is na lopo ninyaha tasma andudaji. The nakara of nai goes away. Of course, the ending nakara is where halantim is an it. The beginning nakara takes lopaha tasma andudaji. Then following the if you have an ach, that takes the nut agamaha. So we get a, a napodha, anapodha. This udha, this apodha takes the nut agamaha, becomes napodha. So anapodha becomes. Now we get a bahuri. Anapodha sitihi yasya saha. So, achara maryada. Anatikranta maryada yena. So, says, uh, so one whose situation, one whose proper conduct in this case uh, has not been taken away, has not gone away. Anapodha sitihi yasya saha. So, finally we have to form a bahuri compound, but we need, we need all these steps in between. So, first we take the dhatu vah, add the nishtakta pratyaha, we get the form Udha, then we then we form the upper apodha as a gati samasaha, and then um, we made the nitat purusha anapodha, and then after that we did the bhuvri compound anapodha siti yasasaha. Now we didn't get the vigra vakyam, but he gave us the meaning of it because he says that um, sorry wrong page he says that anitikranta maryada anitikranta maryada yena saha. You can use that from there. So, oh yes, yes, aha, yes, I think both might work. Um, okay, let's go to translation. Now let's see what we have. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, then Ram, uh, okay. Let's see who we bring down. I put this over here. And I'll go to the prior page. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's see if Dhyankarji is there. Are you there, sir? Dhyankarji, you there? Yeah, I am there. Okay, let us try. So then, what is then? Here. Tataha. 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 Rama is Ramaha. Then dwelt. Tas Tastho. 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 He stayed there, stayed. Patam Purusha Ekvachitam Little Akaraha In Panchavati Panchavatyam Panchavatyam So Panchanam Vatanam Samahara Panchavati By the advice or order Shasanath Shasanath Hetau On account of the order, due to the order, by the order Shasanena Of the picture born sage Kumbha Janmanaha Kumbha Janmanaha Shashti Antampadam Kumbhajanmanaha shasanena shasanat agastyasya shasanat without transcending the one second 
without transcending Anap yeah anapoda 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 Anap limits of virtue siti maryada siti maryada limits correct that's from the commentary anap anapoda siti achara achara maryada yena so yes yes ha so one whose prop situation has not been taken away as is uh, eva eva the mountain vindhya is vindhya vindhya adri ve vindhya mountain is adri vindhya vindhya, hmm. vindhya adri acting that's also this you have to take the same the stove is, is going common between the upama and upameya so acting up to the command of the sage is all common between these two so this shasanat kumbhajan manaha and the tasthav they are common kumbhajan manaha shasanat tasthav so acting up to the command of the sage remained in his normal condition that is prakruto prakrutau thank you prakrutau normal condition normal prakrutau okay so at least we can get the translation i think pretty much every word we can we can look at it okay let's see what the next sutra these are not very difficult shlokas one or two one or two things here and there but it's straight forward uh, okay it says ravana varaja tatra ragavam madanatura abhipede nidhagartha vyaliva maledramam so next scene coming now shurpanakha is coming now so ravana varaja tatra ragavam madanatura abhipede nida nidagartha vyaliva maledramam ravana varaja shurpanakha tatra ragavam madanatura abhipede nidagartha vyali iva vyali iva maledramam simple sentence is ravanasya avaraja so kaniyasi swasa younger brother younger sister of ravana shurpanakha tatra means panchavatyam ragavam ramam abhipede she approached ramaha approached ramaha she was objective to her madana atura madanena atura she was afflicted with 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 lust so she was she was uneasy on account of lust madanena atura so ravana or ravanasya avaraja like like anuja avaraja agraja is an, is, a, is a elder elder brother or sister um avaraja is younger younger sister of ravana afflicted as afflicted she was she was afflicted with lust with 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 uh, passion she approached rama there that's the simple sentence then comes the vyali eva maledramam says that like a female serpent approaches a tree in the malaya mountains malaya malaya mountains and she is she is tormented by the heat of the sun so, so the nidhaga is is sunlight sun the heat the uh, the heat of the sun that's the that's the upama of kalidasa is that just shurpanakha was afflicted with passion just like a female snake is afflicted by the by the heat of the sun she goes to something very soothing which is the uh, maledramam um uh, and then uh, that's what that's what she did. but i forgot to read the whole commentary of the uh, uh from last last shloka ha okay anapodas anapodas sthiti this is to be taken in two ways this is prash shloka ha with rama and vindhya na apodha sthiti yena we can take it yena so yes it make it yena also is probably better so i should probably change this make it yena uh, so yen i think make it yen is probably better yen is sir because this as i just said this apoda is a passive construct so we can make it yen okay yen uh so no apoda siti hi yen with rama it means who did not transgress the proper bounds the bounds of conduct well the well, with, with the vindya it means who remained in his natural position there being a reference to a sporanic story legend of how the mountain was required to assume his normal position by avestya his guru who went to the south 
and never came back from there. That was the story I told you about. That is the story over here, you know. So um, now the next one he comments: Ravanasya Varaja is Avarasmin Kale Jata. One was born at a later time. Avarasmin. Avara means can also mean senior and junior. Also means you know in this case later. So Avarasmin Kale Jata Avaraja, younger sister was Shurpanaka, the half sister of Ravana, sister of of Kara. Nidagartha Vyali ever means the torment of love is often compared to the by the poets to that of the heat of summer Nidaga. Nidaga. And uh, okay, that's what he comments on this this verse. So okay, let's see what, what Mulinath has to say uh, on this one. Uh, okay. What he's saying is that Tatra is Panchavatyam. Again, beautifully he always, always clarifies. Look how he always does it. Sarvanama Shabdaha. Tasya Adhara Bhutaha Nama Shabda Bhavedeva Anveshtavya means you have to find out which is the noun behind the pronoun. So of course Tattavi he always says Panchavatya already are coming from the Purus Puru Shloka Labyate and Ayasena Labyate. You can easily get from the Praya Shloka Panchavatya. Madana Atura, no commentary. Madanena Atura Trasta, which is you know, she is afflicted by the Kama Devaha. Ravana Varaja. See, he's forming the whole sentence now. Because the main thing on the Padu is Abhipede. The Kartri, the doer of the action is Ravana Varaja Shurpanaka. So he says, so he says Ravana Varaja Shurpanaka. So he's, he's putting the Karta Kartri first. But prior to that, he's to make the connection Tatra Panchavatyam. There, Ravana Varaja is the doer of the sentence. And then he's going to say Ragavam is the karma. So subject, object, verb, karta, karma, kriyapadam. And then you could put abhipede at the end with this simile in between there. So that's, that's how this he builds the whole sentence. Tatra panchavatya, ravana varaja shurpanaka, ragavam abhipede. Then there's an iva. Nidagartha, again there also he maintains the same order there also. He puts the karta, nidagartha, gharma tapta, vyakula, vyali. Bhujangi. So that is the, it is a snake who is afflicted by the heat, heat, gharma is the heat of the sun. Maledramam, Chandanadramam, this is a sandal tree, sandal tree, Chandanadramam, Iva. If you look at, if you let's go to Apte, let's see what he gives for Malaya, uh, Malaya, Malaya, Malaya. I think Malaya mountain is there, I think the, in, the, in the Malaya region, I guess these sandal trees grow in that region. Malayatramam, Malaya. Okay, Malaya. It's the name of a mountain range in South India, abounding in sandal trees. Okay, the pores usually represent the breeze of Malaya mountains, wafting the odor of sandal trees, other plants growing, which peculiarly affects persons who are smitten with love. That's the other thing. That's why he gives us this to So that's because something smitten with love is like the, that. That breeze from the Malaya mountain. Sandal trees is so kind of exciting, you know. So that is that's what they're given. Name of a country lying to the east of Malaya range. Okay, same thing. A garden, garden, the side of the mountain. Okay. So Malaya Drimam means I think tree of that of that territory of that region, other than mountain. Means Chandana Drimam. So he clarifies Chandana Drimam, Chandana Drimam, sandal tree, Chandana Drimam. Eva. Okay. Now let's see. Gives one grammar point here. Shurpanakha. So I think Shurpa is like the winnowing basket, you know, so one whose nails, one whose nails are like the winnowing basket, they are so huge. He has, he has very, he's very, these nails are like these winnowing baskets, you know. So uh, shur, Shurpa, Shurpa shur, Shurpa Sadrishaha, Nakaha, Yasyaha Sa, Shurpa Sadrishaha, Nakaha, Yasyaha Sa. So she is, she is one who has nails like that question that he's raising is that how does Nakara become a Nakara? Because what is Sutra that we normally use? Rashabhyam nonas samana pade. Rashabhyam nonas samana pade. Should be samana pade. So now if if it's not samana pade, then how do we justify that? How do we justify that? So that is what the point is making. The Sutra we're using is that Urapada Sanya Sanyaya Magaha. Let's look at, this is not a shloka, this is commentary. 
what he's putting that is how it became it is a famous famous uh, sutram 843 so right after those two rules which is 841 and 842 so this which we use all the time so which we have here 841 is our usual rule which is the rasha bhyam no nas samana pade now that has to be respected by the way even in this following this this thing is has to be has to be respected what what is the nimittam here for the for the natvam shur pa so this is the repa intervening letter vyavadhanam is by the pakara and akara atkupvang so the the pakara is a, of course pervarga huh? and the at is the akara so that one is has to be satisfied nothing else can intervene but then these two are not enough because it's not samanapadi. You know, in the in in the because the shurpa and naka they have both have the uh, this 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 shurpa has a different padam and the other one is a different padam. So how do how do we get that? It's not samana. The nimittam is a separate padam. So then we use eight for the pura padat nimitta. So if the if nimittam is a pura padam, sanyaya. If it is if it is going to be in the um, the sense of referring to a specific person, it has to be a proper noun. Has to be. It should be refers to. If it refers to anybody who has nails like that basket, then it will not be. It will be shurpanaka. But shurpanaka refers to that specific uh, rakshasi. So it should be. A, it should be. A, it should be a proper noun. Then under the conditions, agaha. Let's look at the Vyakhyana Sutram, um, 843. Sanyaya. This is a very important sutram, by the way. Is that a lot of times when the natham you cannot get because not samanapade, you have to use this sutram. In fact, I think they use for Narayana also for this sutram. Narayana. Narayana has this nimittam. Seeing Narayana samuha is Naraha. The different ways they form. So, so saha ayanam yasya saha. So Naraha is the ayanam yasya, so one who's one who resides in, you know. This narasamuha, but then nara is the, is the pura padam, and the ayana is the utta, is not in the same padam. Then how can we say narayana? Same. So this is the sutram for narayana. You can remember that one by the way. So you can remember the word like that. So it says pura padas thad nimittat parasya nasya nasya sanyaya natu gakara vyavadhane natu gakara vyavadhane. So this is the agaha. One thing, because at Kupvan in Vavayapi you have the Gakara could have also intervened, but so Pura Padasthan Nimitta. So that's why we could, we could not use the Samana Pade. Parasya Nasya Nasya Nakara Taster Nakaya Sanyaya it has to be, but Natu Gakara Vyavadhane. So Shurpa Naka Sanyam Kim Tamra Mukhi Kanya. This this Tamra Mukhi Kanya Sanyaya. Uh, so anyway, let's leave that for time. It says here we might find one. Sanyaya mitikim. Pura padasthan nimitta uttarasya gakala vajjita nakala sya nakaisho sanyaya vishaye drurna saha. Someone who has a nose like a like a wooden stick and drurna saha. Vyagri na saha. Shurpanaka. Here it is. Shurpanaka. So charma nasika. So this is you have this is refa, but this is not is not a sanya. It's not for a specific person. Agaha rukgayanam. Here we have the rukaraha, but we didn't get the again the same thing. So uh, one more time, if you have a nimittam in the in the in a in a pura padam, and if the if the entire we're talking about a proper noun, Satish. if we go ahead and yes. Uh, interestingly, Narayana is not there in the examples. Why? Yeah, Narayana, but if you look at Amarkosha comment, let me check Amarkosha. I'm pretty sure Narayana is the same sutram. In fact, one time, Vasu, many year, many, many, many years ago, one of those Vedanta groups, you know, they had posted this question about Narayana. That uh, I was, I'm, someone has referred it and gave it to me later on. But that time, you know, the discussion about Narayana came up in that group. And uh, let's see. Let's see what Amar Kosha. I think I'm pretty sure because how will you get the Natham Narayana? Okay, let's see Amar Kosha 9.18. Uh, what what Manuji says uh, Narayana? Yeah, it's not example. It's not example given in Kashika, but uh, let's see Narayana. Vishnu Narayana. Okay, says Narayana Samuha Naram. That's what I thought. Tasya Samuha. 
तद अयनम यस्य नहीं से पूर्व पदार्थ इति नत्वम सो सेम सूत्रम सो so, सेम सूत्रम बिकॉज़ ही से नारायणम समूह नारम तद अयनम यस्य सह सो नारायण हाउ डू यू गेट द नत्वम फ्रॉम बिकॉज़ नारा इज द पूर्व पदम and the ayana nakara is there at the end of course the atkupa has been satisfied but it's not samanapade so that's the problem that you are having here so uh, narayan you can look, look at the narayan sutra this is the narayan sutra as what i like to, i like to remember it like the narayan the reason, the reason why i ask is the vedas uh-huh. and who are very this one about the narayana referring to the supreme brahman they use this as the reason why narayana should be a proper noun not just a adjective uh, yes that is because otherwise sanyayam if sanyi if you don't have sanyayam you will not get that natham you know maybe that's what discussion was in the, the group i don't know this was many years ago there was discussion is narayana thing. i don't know what the whole thing i only got the vyakaranam part of it i didn't get the rest of it but they they was arguing about what this how natham came it has to be sanyayam so you not get a natham so it has to refer to proper noun not a general thing about you know somebody who has so that is the that, that is correct i think without sanya it will be difficult to get natham from this thing so this is narayana sutra 843 pura pada sanyayam agaha sutra so if is pura pada pura pada sthan nimittat parasya nasya nasya sanyayam natu nakar vyavadhane nakar vyavadhane okay um okay so that's what we have so that's what he's quoting for to justify shurpanakha purapada 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 sanyaya magaha iti natvam then ragavam vidyutyantam padam nidhagartha gharma tapta karifa nidhaga is gharma heat heat gharma tapta gharmena tapta uh vyakula uh tapta is vyakula she was she was uh she was afflicted tormented by that uh, vyali is bhujangi so vyala also has different different meanings so here it means if you look at apte for if you just look at apte for couple of these things so let's look at nidhaga uh gharma is, is is basically heat heat of the sun gharma uh, gharma yeah gharma is heat warmth and nidhaga nidha can mean basically i think the heat of the sun nidha uh self to improve improve vocabulary right nidha nidha ah i'm sorry go back there uh nidha okay ha uh. ah i'm sorry nidha uh i got the caps lock on okay uh okay nidaka nidaka jagha says uh the heat warm the hot season the sweat perspiration the internal heat perspiration perspiration okay and then um what it says so, vyala vyala has a few different meanings vyala can also mean an elephant who's out of control there's two different meanings so you we want here the meaning of this of the female snake is what we want vyala vyala so vyala uh is wicked vicious cruel bad so vicious elephant then uh, a beast of prey shwapadam uh then a snake that's the meaning and the uh, a tiger and a leopard king a cheat or a rogue so that's you know that's a shop or this is a different from meaning we hear that that's why it clarifies clarifies that the meaning that you want here is the um, bhujangi bhujangi a female snake male dhruvam as you said chinna dhruvam eva abhipede let's go to to some yakaranam here is uh, first thing i did here was to form this avarasmin kale jata avaraja avara plus me plus chan saptamyam janir dah again upapada samasa right we did just in detail upapadam thing this saptamyam is saptami of saptami <laughs> saptamyam is saptami of saptami so when saptyam saptamyantam padam is an upapadam so avarasmin kale 
सुपदम लाइक पंकज हा पंके जाता पंकज हा सो सप्तम या धातु जन कैन टेक द प्रत्यय ड ऑन द कंडीशन इज फॉर्मिंग अ कंपाउंड अनदर टर्म व्हिच इज इन द सप्तम यंतम एज अ उपपदम सो अवर इज अ सप्तम यंतम सो अवर प्लस जन प्लस अनुबंध लोपे बाय बाय चुटु and then of course the ni goes away by supluk kutrit samasascha supodhatu padavatika yoho then avara then we get the ti lopa sutram tehe sutram tehe belongs to bhasya adhikara which is previously many times but this one is not the bhasya adhikara then how can we get the the ti lopa is the question but that is the ditkarana samarthya is that diti abhasya api anubandha karana samarthya ti lopa bhoti the pratya d the dakara will have no other prayojanam except for the except for getting the tilopa so on the basis of the ditkarana samarthya anubandha karana samarthya we tilopa avaraja in the female we get the pratya tap avaraja younger sister then ravanasya avaraja ravana avaraja shashi samasaha madanena atura madanatura madanena atura madanatura मदनातुरा स्थिति समासा स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड सेम थिंग घर में घर में तप्ता घर में तप्ता सेम सेम थिंग देर आल्सो नाउ दिस आतुरा दातु तुरत त्वरणे वन हु वन हु इज कैन ऑफ इन अ फ्लरी वन हु इज एक्साइटेड वन हु इज यू नो अनइजी अनइजी वन हु वन हु वन हु त्वरणे इज टू रश टू बी इन अ हरी one who rushes on all sides so it says atu atu torti atu torti iti aturaha sutram is tar plus pratyakta interesting sutram this says that this igupada nya prikrah kaha the gita exam is budaha nate shramate budaha chapter 5 i think of gita other places also sutram is uh, 31 i think 130 yeah it is 31135 igupada Dhatu has an ek as an upadha, and his dhatu is nya, pri, and kru. Pratyak, they take the pratyak k, kartri krut as the agent of the action. So ek upadha. So what we have here is that uh, dhatu tur. So like in dhatu buddha becomes buddha. So one who understands is is one who knows buddha. So ek upadha nya pri kira kaha. So pratyak k comes over here. अनुबंध लोपे दशक प्रतिदिते एंड देन बिकॉज़ इट्स किट प्रत्यह दिस नो गुणा देशा से पुगंत लुकु पद से स्टॉप बाय दिकिनितिच वी गेट आतुरा सो वी देन वी फॉर्म द गति समास विद द विद द आंग इज यू पसर्ग गति संज्ञा गति समास हा देन देन ऑफ कोर्स एट द प्रत्यय टॉप आतुरा अभिपेदे सो पद गतौ दिस धातु इज ऑलमोस्ट नेवर यूज ऑन इट्स ओन प्रायण प्रायण उपसर्गेण सह प्रयुज्यते सो इट इज लाइक संपत्ति ही आपत्ति ही विपत्ति ही प्रतिपत्ति ही प्रपत्ति ही यू नो सो ऑल ऑफ दिस प्रपन्न हा कम्स इन गीता सो मेनी टाइम्स यू नो सो उपपत्ति ही नियत उपपद्यते कम्स इन गीता सो हियर अभिपेदे बट इन लट लकार एज यूजुअल परोक्षे लिट आई एम सॉरी लिट लकार परोक्षे लिट अनुबंध लोपः उपदेशन नासिके थलंत्यम then tiptasji this is this dhatu is thing anudatta swara anudatta uh, it so we're going to take the um, atmane padam by 1 3 12 anudatta gnita atmane padam anudatta gnita atmane padam 1 3 12 uh, then we get the litas tajayor eshirech sutra which you use all the time this prasya pada nam nal atsus etc that is anuvrutti of litaha comes from this sutra litas tajayor eshirech So when the T and J come in place of lit, they become A and I re respectively. Let us the Jayo Esh Re. So the Adesha Esh, and because of Anekalchi Sarvasya, it is a Shit Adesha. So therefore, to place the entire entire term T, it becomes A. Not alone this, but Anekalchi Sarvasya. The Adesha was Esh. Let us the Jayo Esh Re. So this this Pratyat T came in place of lit, takes the A Adesha. And then we have the abhyasa karya, which is liti dhatu na abhyasa sya. And then what happens is that we get the abhyasa lopa and etvam. Sutra means when you see this happening, when you see abhyasa lopa and the ekara coming in place, this sutra means ata ekhal madhyana deshade liti. 
if you have an akara in the dhatu, which has no, which is no sanyoga on either side, ekahal madhye, then the pratya following should be kit, kit nit. In this case, we have a sanyoga lit kit. So this 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 is a bit lit kit. We just saw that one two five. There should be no special abhyasa karyam. So there should be no special effect in abhyasa in the adi. The letter of the day in this case will be the pakaraha. So like you shouldn't have, should not have abhyasa charcha taking place. So that the special abhyasa effect should not be lost. Anadesh adesh. The adi, in the abhyasa, the adi should not take an adesha. So that should be the condition. And then what happens, you get abhyasa lopa eight. It's a complicated sutram. So this is 6, 4, 1, 20. But you can, if you see in the litrakara, abhyasa lopa and eight one, the ekar adesh coming there, can think of this sutram ata ek ata ek hal madhya anadeshade liti ata ek hal madhya anadeshade liti anadeshade liti ata ek hal madhya anadeshade liti says that uh, that lil nimitta adeshadikam na bhavati there should be no adesha based on the lit pratyaha yadangam tad avayavasya asanyukta hal madhyasthasya there should be no conjunction on either side. Ataha, akarasya. Eto abhyasa lopascha kiti liti. So if kiti lit follows. So one more time, there should be an akara here. There should be no conjunction on either side. Ekahal mati. There should be no lindimitta adesha for this adihi, for letter pakara. Pratya form should be kit. When all this is satisfied, you get the abhyasa lopa and etam. This abhyasa goes away in the place of akaraha, ataha. Get the ekara desha, pede. In Gita, this sutram is not used in Gita. So this sutram is not used in the Gita. So that is, you cannot practice that one there. It becomes pede, abhi pede. Now this one is same thing. Nidagena artha, nidag artha, stitya samasaha. The word artha comes in Gita. Artha Jidnyasa Nartharati Jnani Chavaratarsha, I think chapter 7 maybe. Artha, one who distressed. So four kinds, Satur Vidha Bhajante Maam, Jana Sukhita Norjana, Artha Jidnyasa Nartharati Jnani Chavaratarsha. So Artha, Artha, this comes in chapter 7, number 16. Artha comes in Gita. So this form is with Hatu Ru. Gati Prapana, you used to reach, in English, Richati in English to reach. So one who reaches out everywhere, one who in one who one who runs everywhere for help, kind of. So one who goes in all directions. So ru gati prapana yoho means to reach out to reach something. So the same pratyakta which you saw before nishtha. So taktabatu nishtha sutram is nishtha sutram taktabatu nishtha. In this case, we can use this sutram here, which is make it active, not one who is reached by, but one who reaches. He is the doer of the action. So today we saw this, we have used this sutram, which is the Tayoreva uh, Krityakta Kalartaha. So we, we start with Kartri Krit as a default, but then comes Tayoreva Krityakta Kalartaha, Pratyakta only comes in the passive. Then comes the counter exception. Gatyartha Karmaka Shli Shashing Sthasa Vasa Jana Ruha Ruha Jiryati Bhyascha. Gatyartha Dhatu, if you have, Gatyartha, it can be used Karmani also. Kartri also. So the Pratyakta can also be used Kartri. Pratyakta. So it may say Ramam, Rama, Ramo Vanangataha. Atva Ramena Vanangatam. Both are possible. So here I think we'll use the Kartri over here. So so one who so so one who has one who has gone, Ramaha Vanam Gataha, Rama Vanam Gataha. So one who has gone on all sides, goes goes everywhere looking for he's distressed, he's so Ru plus the uh, now, this Idagama is start because this is again Anudat Upadesha Dhatu Ho, Ekach Upadesha Nudat Innishedha. Then we call Gati Samasaha because this with the Upasarga Angs, Upasarga Kriyavi Gatishcha, Kugati Pradeha. Now comes a special rule so with, with A and Ru, you should normally have the Ad Gunaha. Ad Gunaha. But now comes the, the Vishesha Niyamaha is Upasarga Jati Dhatu. Upasarga Jati Dhatao. So Upasarga, this is as Upasarga here because Upasarga Kriya Yogi. Following a Dhatu which is a Rit, which is, which is beginning with, with Rikaraha, then Pura Parayoho Eka, this is Vridhir Eka Adesha. 
ರಾಜನಿಗೆ ಗುಣ ಆದೇಶ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಆದೇಶ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೀನ್ಸ್ ಉಪಸರ್ಗ ರುತಿ ಧಾತು ರುತಿ ಸೊ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ರುಕಾರಾಜಿ ಧಾತು ದೆನ್ ರಾಜನ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಆದ್ ಗುಣ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಉಪಸರ್ಗ ರುತಿ ಧಾತು ಉಪಸರ್ಗ ರುತಿ ಧಾತು ಉಪಸರ್ಗ ರುತಿ ಧಾತು ಅವರ್ಣಾಂತಾದ್ ಉಪಸರ್ಗಾತ್ ಅವರ್ಣಾದ್ ಉಪಸರ್ಗಾತ್ ಋಕಾರಾದ ಧಾತು ಪರೆ ವೃದ್ಧಿರೇಕಾದೇಶ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಅರ್ಥ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಆರ್ತ ಉಪಸರ್ಗ ವೃತಿ ಧಾತು ದಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆರ್ತ ನಾವು ಓಕೆ ವ್ಯಾಲಿ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿ ವಿರುದ್ಧ ಆಸಮಂತಾದ್ ಅಲತಿ ಅಡತಿ ವಾ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹಿಂಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಸಮಂತಾದ್ ಅಲತಿ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಮೂವ್ಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರಬಲ್ ಆರ್ ಹಿಂಡರಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಅಲಭೂಷಣ ಪರ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ ವಾರಣೇಶು ಧಾತು ಅಲ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇ ಧಾತು ಅಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೆ ಉದ್ಯಮೆ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈವ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಕಾಸ್ ಟ್ರಬಲ್ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟ್ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಜಲೆಯೋರ್ ಏಕತ್ವ ಸೊ ಡಕಾರ ಲಕಾರ ಇಸ್ ಇರೋ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ ದೇ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಚೇಂಜ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಧಾತು ಅಲ್ ಆರ್ ಅಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪತ್ಯ ಅಚ್ ನಂದಿಗ್ರಹ ಪ್ರಚಾದ ಲುನಿನ್ಯ ಚ ಪಚಾದಿ ಗಣ ಧಾತು ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಎಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯ ಅಚ್ ಸೊ ಅಲತಿ ಇತಿ ಅಲ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಮೇಕ್ ದಿ ವಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವಿ ಆ ಅಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಗತಿ ಸಮಾಸ ವ್ಯಾಲ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮೀ ನೌ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಯು ಶು ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರತ್ಯ ಟಾಪ್ ಅಜಾದ್ಯ ತಾಪ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯ ನೀಶ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಜಾತಿರ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ವಿಷಯಾದ್ ಅಯೋಪದಾತ್ ಸೊ ಜಾತಿ ವಾಚಿ ಎನ್ನ ಸ್ತ್ರಿಯಾಂ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಜಾತಿ ಅ ಜೀನಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಅ ಟೈಪ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಿ ಸಿಂಹಿ ಸೊ ವ್ಯಾಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಜಾತಿ ವಾಚಿ ಎನ್ನ ಸ್ತ್ರಿಯಾಂ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ನಿಯತಂ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಫೆಮಿನ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಿ ಜೆಂಡರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ can be used of masculine snake viali feminine snake so jati vachi it is a class of of beings so jati vachi yanna striyam niyatam ayopadham there should be no yakara upadha to that tata striyam nish syat so viala plus get the anubandha lopah so this is basically if it's if it's a class of class of beings so it's a genus so viala is is snakes so then it should be and viala goes in all three genders i mean of course masculine and feminine i should say there is no yakar upadha to it the nisha of getting top you get pratyay nisha so lashak patdite halantyam you get the bhasanya in yachibham make it viali viali so just just some malas dhramam maladhramaha this you know shashi tat purusha straight forward compound okay let's try some uh get the uh, anuvada uh, i think we are on this page uh, no not this page no not this page uh, okay okay let me try you ready sir tagar ji no yes yes sir yes okay there what is there tatra tatra correct the younger sister of ravana ravana varaja ravana varaja ravanasya avarja ah uh, being smitten with love madanatura madanatura madanena atura trastaha says uh, no commentary on that came up to uh, abhipede abhipede approach abhipad is to kind of almost like to come on come down or attack or approach to descendant of raghu uh, ragavam 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 rama as is uh eva 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 a female snake viali viali when oppressed by heat nidhar ghatam nidhar ghat nidhar ghat nidha garta nidha ghat nidha garta nidha gena arta goes the same abhipede goes on both sides uh, to a sandal tree maletramam 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 okay thank you sir uh okay we have 10 let's see we can at least do this one this is also this is 
not a difficult verse, so let's see, we can at least do the translation maybe today. Sa Sita Sannidhaveva Tamavre Kachitan Vaya Atya Rudo Hinarinam Akalagnyo Mano Bhavaha Sa Sita Sannidhaveva Tamavre Kachitan Vaya Atya Rudo Hinarinam Akalagnyo Mano Bhavaha So Sa Shurpanaka Sita Sannidhau Eva Tam Ramam Vavre Kachitan Vaya He, he is the connecting word, he because or indeed Atyaruda Narina Akalagnya Mano Bhavaha Simple sentence is that Sa Shurpanaka Ramam Vavre Tam Ramam Vavre She, she chose Ramaha She basically wanted Rama to be her consort so she chose Rama, but Sita Sanidha Veva, I mean she didn't feel any, I guess any shame to ask for Rama, in front of his own wife she, he asked for him. Sita Sanidhi, San, San, Sanidhi, means Sanidhi means, means you know, proximity. So, uh, so in, the, in the very presence of Sita, she asked for Rama. Kathita Anvaya is qualifying Shurpanaka. So, so Kathita Anvaya uh, Yayasa. So she had, she told who she was. She introduced herself. She, Anvaya means her lineage. So, so she, she, she told Rama what her lineage, what, so, so her background, her background. So she had told her background. But in the, in, in the presence of Sita itself, she asked for Rama. Why is that? Because, Mano Bhavaha is Kama Devaha, is the, the force of love. Atyarudha means very excited. Narina of woman. Akala Jnaha doesn't know, then, then it doesn't understand which is the right time and place for anything. Because when, when, the, when the passion gets aroused in women, it's extremely aroused, then it doesn't understand what is to be done at what place and time, it doesn't understand that. So what is the right time to do anything, it doesn't understand. So Atyarudha Narinam Atyarudha Manubhavaha Akalajnyo Bhavati So Yukta Avasraha Yukta Avasraha Na Janati You don't understand why this is the proper time or occasion for anything. So um, this was the commentary. Sa Shurpanaka straightforward. She, again he puts the Kartri first. And he's going to put the vavre at, at the end of here. So Sita Sannidhau Eva. No commentary straightforward. In the very presence of Sita. Kathitanvaya is the Bahuri compound, as I told you a few times. If you see Nishtantam Padam as the Pura Padam, it could be a Bahuri compound. It could be Karmadhare also. But it should be, if you make it Kathitanvaya, it could be a Karmadharya compound the background lineage which has been narrated. Kachitan Vaya, clearly it's a Bahuvari compound. You can see Linga Parivartanam. So it says, Kachitaha, Kachita so vamusha sati, being one, Anvaya so vamusha. So, so, uh, so Kachitaha, Swasya, Atva Swaha, Vamusha, Yaya, Sa. So, uh, so one who narrated her family, her family background. Sati, being so, Sati means being thus. Tam again very beautifully, Ramam. Vavre Vrutavati, she chose. Okay, we can do Vavre right now quickly in the document. Uh, firstly, Sita Yaha Sanyidhi, Sita Sanyidhi, straightforward, Tatpurusha compound, Tasmin. Now, this word Sanyidhi, maybe, maybe we'll do it next time, this one, Sanyidhi. Uh, but let's look at that form, Vavre. Vri Varane is to choose. Again, lit lakaraha, we just did two times already. Parokshe lit, and then Anubandha Lopaha. We get the Pratya Ta. So this is Ubhavaji Dhatu. Swaritta Gnyataha, Kriya Vipraya, Kriyaphale. We see Ubhavaji, taking Aspani Padam over here. So the, then we saw the same thing, Litas Tajayo, Reshi Recha. We just did that in the prior, prior shloka itself. 
when we have abhipte the same thing here so this the becomes ekara adeshah um aneka chi sarvasya then abhyasa karyam iti dhatur iti dhatur nubhyasasya then urat in the abhyasa bhagah the ruvarna takes the akara adeshah and uranraparah khaladishesah then ikornachi ikornachi nothing really special here so this abhyasa karyam only thing is here the same sutram nitas tajo reshirech and then the uh, urat in the abhyasa bhaga ruvarnate akara desha uran raparaha haladishesha ikornashi vavre vavre so um so she she chose now he because he tatha hi because in need illustration it is illustration being given atyarudha arudha means yoga arudha sitasya comes in gita chapter 6 number 3 so arurukshur muner yogam karma karana muchyate yoga arudha sitasya shama karana muchyate arudha ascended so greatly ascended means like highly excited highly elevated highly elevated means ati pravruddha he says very grown very intensely grown narina manobhavah kamah so manasi bhavati ti manobhavah bhavati ti bhavah which is mind born so he he doesn't have any he just appears in the mind he is kamadeva basically kamah akalajnya avasaragnya na bhavati so kalajnya avasaragnya so one who knows the proper occasion for something so so janati tignya avasarasya nya na bhavati akal akalnyo hi because when the when the passion in woman is excited intensely doesn't understand what is the proper occasion to do something uh, so that is why she chose rama right in the presence of sita itself she chose rama after narrating her background she this is what's what she did next time in the class we'll do the some more in fact we have 2 minutes okay we can do maybe one word here uh, we'll form the word let's take for homework well one we'll do right now is sannidhi upasarga is sam and ni and dhatu dha is to place judhai dharana poshana yo which is in daily exam we see later in daily example already so we have this so this dhatu is uh, smakam parichaya asti so we have we know this dhatu so this sutram is of course guess the the gu sanya dada ghada also we see this in daily examples many times so dhatu of the form da and dha gets the gu sanya except for this dap adap um and then this sutram is upasarge gohki you can form a masculine noun with uh, upasarge is again this upapadam look at the saptam yantam तत्रपदम सप्तमीस्थम सो व्हेन उपसर्गा इज एन उपपदम इन कंजंक्शन विद उपसर्गा वी वी कैन टेक गुसन्य का धातु एट द प्रत्यय की टू मेक अ मैस्कुलर नाउन दिस इज व्याख्यान मींस भावे अकृतिच संज्ञायां च कारके इति वर्तते अनुवृत्ति ऑफ दिस कमिंग फ्रॉम भावे एंड अकृतिच संज्ञायां सो दिस इज अनुवृत्ति इज कमिंग डाउन हियर सो इन व्हाट मीनिंग आर वी यूजिंग दिस वी कैन फॉर्म इदर एन एब्स्ट्रैक्ट नाउन or that from which it happens in which it happens you know so um, so nidha sanya is to place sanidha is you know basically close placement close placement means proximity basically it means proximity so very quickly here i know time is up but the sutram bhave along with akriti chaka akriti chakare ke sanya anuvritti is coming down so these pratyas can be used to form an abstract noun when any of the karaka except kartari cannot be the doer of the action so that by which it is done that from which then in which it is done but not the doer that time you're going to use bhave abstract no sannidhi means you know um, closeness uh, proximity so sutra we using right now is is this 33 uh, right before striyam tin this comes upasarge gohki famous sutram so upasarge upapade upapade again saptam yantam upapade सो तत्रपदम सप्तमीस्थम गुसन्य के भ्या धातु भ्या किहि प्रत्यवति कित करणम आतो लोपार्थम सो सन सम नी प्लस धा प्लस ई और कि अनुबंध लोपे ई दशक तद्दिते नाउ बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट वी गेट द आकार लोपे आतो लोपे इति च 
we saw in yesterday's class, Adanta Mangam, if we have, for a Pratya, which is Sanya of Ardhadhatukam, this is in the Adhikara of Ardhadhatukam in 6.4. 6.4 Adhikara of Ardhadhatukam comes in 6.4. In that year's Sutram, Ato Lopi Ticha. Anga Siddhikara also is running. So if you have an Adanta Mangam, for a Pratya, which is Ajadi Kitnit, or just an Idagamaha. Then the Angam takes Lopaha alone Tyasya. So Ajado Kiniti Atva Seti Adadhatuke Angasya Adanta Sengasya Lopa Bhavati. So this, this becomes the. So that's why the Kit, the so Kashika is Kit Karanam. The curse and it was put because of that. To get the Akar Lopaha. Becomes Sannidhi and then of course the Sandhikaryam by the uh, Monuswaraha and then the uh, Anuswasi Parasavarnaha Vapadantasya. So we get the Sannidhi as for well. Okay. Now for homework next time, because time is up, we'll do a translation. For homework, take this word Rudha from Dhatu Ruh. It's only Sandhikaryam. You have to use Hodha, Jashastato Dhodha, and then same thing, Chunashtuhu, Dhode, Lopaha, Purus Dirgonaha. Same, we, did, we just did this in fact. So they take it for homework, form Rudha from Ruh, and then Atya Rudha is Gati Samasaha, and then same sutra which you use this, uh, you know, we just, this also homework, this Janati Tignyaha for homework. Janati Tignyaha, we just use the sutra which is the Igupada Nyapri Kirakaha, Aturaha we formed. Next sutra, Atashchapasarge, use that same Pratyaka. If you have the Adanta Dhatu Upasarge Upapade, so we have that. Uh, try to form the word Nyaha. Same thing, Atolo Pitcha, there also, Atolo Pitcha. Okay, uh, let's, let's do a translation. We'll stop with that. Uh, okay, okay, let's see if we can get the right page for you here. Dhyankarji, you there, sir? Dhyankarji? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Let's say she. What is she? Sa. Sa, correct. Sa, Shurpanakha. Declaring her lineage. Yes. <coughs> Patita Anvaya. Patita Anvaya. So, Patita Anvaya. Yaya, Sa. Made advances. Of, I made, yeah, I think over it. Basically, it shows. So made, made advances of love is literally wawood. This he chose. Bavre, bavre. Made advances of love is to choose. Ramaha is uh, tam, tam ramam. Tam, huh. tam ramam. Even in eva. the very eva, eva, eva. In the very presence of Sita. Is, uh, Sita sannidhau. Sannidhau. Sita sannidhau. Sita Yasanidhau Samipe. For is what you think? For is he. He. In meantime, we translate he as for. In, in English, we yeah, translate he as for because he is smart. Yata, because uh, the lust is. Manobhava. Uh, Manobhavaha. So Manasai, Manasi, Bhavati, Manobhavaha. Of women. Narinam. Narinam. When grown to excess, atyarudho, atyarudha, ati pravrutha, does not take into account of proper times of expressing their love. Akalajnaha, akalajnaha, so akalajnaha, anavasaragnaha, anavasaragnaha, doesn't his doesn't understand the proper time. Okay, so let's stop with that. So next time homework we'll do the word rudha from the Vyakranam. Thank you, sir. And we'll do the word manovavaha and the uh, nyaha. Nyaha, we'll do that. Okay, Ramo Raja Manis Sada Vijayate, Ramam Ramesham Vijay, Ramena Vyata Nishachara Chamu, Rama Etasmainamaha, Rama Nasti Parayanam Parataram Ramasya Dasos Nyaham, Rame Chittale Sada Bhotame Bho Rama Mamudhara, Rama Rame Ti Rame Ti Rame Rame Mano Rame Sahasta Nama Tattilyam Rama Nama Varadhane Shri Rama Nama Varadhana Kundana